Hmm. Surprise. Everybody's favorite good guy, Ty Ty. Superman. Yeah. What? What's that? I never land. Pinkies up, winkies, clinkies. Gentle. What a year it's been. Ty, where have you been for the last few weeks? Working. Just taking care of life and all of its possibilities. I count my blessings. I'm very thankful. I look like three shades of hell, but I'm very thankful. This year's taught me a lot. This year has taught me a lot of things that I didn't even think were possible to learn. I didn't even think. That's the thing, I didn't think. It's been full of, with a lot of regret, I'll be honest. It's been full with a lot of heartache. It's been full with a lot of negative things. I've been left basically alone to rot. But I came out of it. With help, a lot of it. I've been taken through the ringer. I've been a lot of things I've been. But no, no more. I want this year to be over. This has been the worst year of my life that I can remember in recent history. I'm just tired of being held down. You know what I mean? You can see the smile on my face right now when I say that. Part of it's out of anger. Part of it is definitely out of sadness. It's been the loneliest time of my life. I talk about myself as I might because, well, this is, this is what we do. I'm being honest. Of course, I can't divulge everything. I'm not going to put everything out there so everybody knows my business. But it's almost like everybody already does. But see, here's the thing. Rumors are rumors. The truth is the truth. If you have any questions about anything, ask me and I'll tell you the truth. I won't do it on here. Because it's nobody's business but mine. And some of my close friends, of course. But see, they know. They know me. And I'm glad they do. I count my blessings. I'm tired of being emotional. I'm tired of being an emotional wreck. I'm tired of lashing out at the wrong people that I shouldn't. I always feel, and I don't handle guilt well. I feel so terrible for that. Regardless of what I've been through, regardless of what has happened to me that I didn't ask for, it doesn't matter. I'm accountable for my behavior, for my actions, and for what I say. I don't make excuses. So if you ask me, Ty, where have you been? The last few weeks especially have been pretty tough for me. I wanted to sit back and do one of these and say hello to everybody and wish you all well like I usually do. but. I just needed some time for me, that's all. Um, not that I've had much because, you know, work's been busy. It's a privilege to be there, to do what I do. And I recognize that. And to be with the people that I work with is a privilege. I work with a lot of fine folks. You know, there's a couple of chicks, I, I can't say their names out loud, but there's a couple of chicks that work with us that I favor quite a bit because they work really hard and they they do their best and I recognize that. I think it's great. Two chicks in a cesspool of a bunch of guys swarming around them, right? They're awesome. A lot of the staff I work with are the very best. I love them dearly. Some of them are some of my best friends in life, in, re in reality, you know. And the ones I work for, I, I love dearly. 
and they treat me nothing but the very best. I mean, I can't ask for anything better. I count my blessings. That's just some of them. I'm a very lucky guy. I'm a very, very lucky guy. Loving friends, loving family, <laughs> loving friends that are my family. People I'm close to that I love to the moon and back 15 million times, you know? I count my blessings. So when I do have, <coughs> excuse me, emotional issues, when it comes down to what I've been through, yes, it's human, and yes, I guess it's okay to a certain degree, but I'm guilty of letting things boil inside of me until it's too late, and I just, you know, I've, I've always had that habit. I've been seeking help with that. I've been, you know, talking to some people that have, have been helping me out a, a great deal. When it comes down to emotions and, and accountability, I never had a problem with accountability, but emotionally I have, and I have to recognize that too. I'm not perfect. I don't want to be perfect. I don't try to attain that goal to be perfect, regardless of what's said or what you hear about me. It's not my MO. That's, that's not the way I operate. I live based on the truth. I live based on God's love. I live based on people's love. Love, 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 right? That's, that's who the hell I am. And I, I feel that I've lost sight of that a little bit, especially recently, three weeks ago, say. That was bad, you know? Again, no excuses, it's just, my heart's been smashed into a million tiny little pieces. And those little tiny pieces have also been smashed into a million tiny little pieces. And here I am trying to place them back together with a pair of tweezers. It's bound to affect me, of course, as it would anybody else, not just me. It's not just about me, you know? But I think recently it has been just about me to myself. You know, and I've been putting myself off for too long. And see, that's what happens, emotional outbursts, right? You get angry really fast, you get sensitive, overtly sensitive. I'm a very sensitive person anyway, but for good reason, you know. Not that I have a flair for the dramatics, because I, I don't, I, I'm real, okay? Real emotions are real emotions. That's what I feel. It, it's real, because it is what it is. Okay. I think I lost sight of a little bit of that. Just I, I, I lost touch with myself and how I'm supposed to feel while I'm dealing with everything, the aftermath of everything. Meanwhile, still bumping into people, you know, that still affect me to some certain degree. Who I thought I knew. Turns out I don't. And now that my eyes are really open, now I'm really starting to see, now I'm really starting to wake up and start to realize, you know, what things are for what they are. And I should have realized that a long time ago. And that's the part of the guilt that eats at me. Because I'm not good with guilt. I'm accountable for my behavior, for my actions, and for what I say. I love people. I love that they love me back. I love spending time with people. I love being around people. And I'm talking good, solid people. Those are my favorites. That's who, that's who I'm hanging out with now. As for the rest of them, I don't have time. I don't have time. Time is something we don't have. So I don't make time for it. And if I do, you know, if I, if I do, then that's my choice. That's on me. I'm accountable. I count my blessings every single day. I'm not kidding. 
I pray. You know, I have a nice, fresh cup of shut up. <gasps> uh, you know, and I, and I sit back and I ponder. And I pray. Or I'm sitting there reading the good book. Again, I don't care what you say about me. I know what I do. Others that love me know what I do. And they accept me for me. Because I'm me. I don't pretend to be somebody else. That's why I have the smile on my face. That's the other part of it. Following me so far? Cheers. I miss a lot of you, though. I say it all the time, and it's kind of funny why I say that all the time. Because I will bitch about one thing. And I'll leave this here. I also respect and appreciate effort. If, if you want to be with somebody, you make the effort to want to be with them. I put in effort, and I try to be with the people I love as much as I can. There's no question. I don't even think about it twice. You know, I even offer. I'm like, okay, cool. Hey, I'll bring you a coffee. Or hey, I'll meet you here. Or hey, let's go to dinner. And I make the effort. It's not even a thought, it's autopilot. Like, of course you want to spend time with your favorite people. You know, why wouldn't you? But see, I respect and appreciate effort because effort towards somebody lets them know that they're valued and appreciated and perhaps respected. I'm very selective about who I respect these days. I barely trust anybody, and rightfully so. I have the right. I've earned that right. I've sat and wallowed in self-pity long enough to know that I have to have respect for myself, too. I'm real. Real deal. So regardless of what you think of me, what's said about me, I don't care. I'm going to do what I do. And I'm going to do it. Am I worried about others' opinions? No. I don't have time, and I don't make time for it. This is a genuine smile on my face, by the way. I just wanted to say hi and give you the update, you know, basically. Just to let you know where I'm at. Am I pissed off still? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of resentment. There's a lot of anger. I'm dealing with it. I, I talk to people about it. I'm helping myself through it. With the genuine help of other people, of course. I can't do that by myself. Nor should anybody do that by themselves. If you need help, go get help. I've said this before. I practice what I preach. I'm still there for anybody that needs me. I am. Because, believe me, I understand tough times and how rough you can be on yourself or how rough others can be on you. I understand. Trust me. I'm going through it. And that's the thing. You can trust me. Isn't that something? Hmm? I'm not out to hurt anybody. Not on purpose. I'm not out to get anybody. I just stick to my own guns, man. I'm doing my own thing. Say what you want. Listen to them say what they want about me. That's no better than them. If you sit back listening and trying to figure out why they're saying those things. And if you have any questions, ask me, I'll tell you. Flat out. But if you listen to them and believe them, you're just as bad as they are. I don't have time. I'm going to walk by you with a smile on my face. How am I doing? A little bit better now. A little bit better. I'm starting to realize. By talking with people that help me, I'm starting to realize, you know, me being a dipshit probably isn't a good idea. You know, because it'd be really easy for me to fly off the rocker. And I've said this before, and it's true. And I have to remember that I've said that before. That's, see, that's, again, accountability for what I say. 
practice what I preach. And that's, that's what I take pride in, right? I take pride in hard work, love, dedication, respect, honor, and integrity. Well, I think my integrity kind of wavered a little bit there three weeks ago. Never again. Never again. Because I value that. And I don't want to lose anything that I value. And I don't want to lose people or anything else that I value because I value what I do. And integrity is important. Anybody that knows me, and I mean knows me, knows me, knows that that's the truth. I'm telling you guys, and all the truth. Integrity and everything like that means the world to me. You know, being a gentleman, you know, holding the door open for people. You know, these are the things I value. They're very important to me. I just hope I never lose sight of that. Because for a minute there, just for a minute, I forgot where I came from. And I've worked so damn hard coming from where I came from to let that slip up. Yes, I'm human. Yes, we make mistakes. But I'm accountable. And I feel terrible. Don't worry, it wasn't anything that bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't anything that bad. I just had a freak out at the wrong person, that's all. Wrong people, person, person. Um, and that's not like me, and they know that, and they showed me mercy. They didn't have to. That's what scared me a little bit, because if you don't do something that scares you, it's not worth doing, right? You know. By that I mean, you know, things in life will be challenging, absolutely. And again, trust me, I understand a good challenging thing when I see one. But I'm not built to be a piece of shit, right? I'm built to be against that. You know, I'm built to fight off a battle that probably will take a lifetime to, to fight. Yes, I'm human, but hey, man. If you're not in control of yourself, what the hell are you doing? True story. I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for Almighty God. I'm thankful that this heart still beats, these lungs still have breath. And I count my blessings every day. And some of you that are watching this now are some of my blessings. You're important to me. You make me, me. I don't do it by myself. It's not about me. It's about all of us. Family. I just wanted to say, hey, I know it's deep, right? But. Just let you know where I'm coming from. This year has sucked. I hope this year gets forgotten about. I hope it gets put behind me and I run so far the hell away from it that it's not even visible in the distant background. I am human. I deserve to be loved, yes. And I deserve to love. We've yet to see that. Right? You know, when I'm ready, I'm ready. Right? But yeah, this year sucked. Hopefully next year coming up will be much better. Some of you, before I go, some of you have asked me to do my special holiday message. Um, 
<laughs> Being humble is another thing I'm, I'm working on. No, no. In all seriousness, though, I, I thought about it. I don't know what kind of... I say we do it anyway. I found the Santa hat. Let's make the next year coming up and, and this holiday coming up interesting. Also, I turned 42 in eight days. Today's the 10th, right? Today is the 10th. Woo. Hey, man. Another blessing. Another, another spin around the sun. Another tree ring. I made it. Somehow. <sighs> Fought, scratched, clawed. Scraped. One more, th one more thing before I go. Your emotions, your heart, and your mind are two very powerful things, as most of you, if not all of you, know. For some reason, one will always follow the other. But when they don't, they really clash. They repel against each other. Take care of both. Do yourself a favor. Just take 30 seconds. Sit in a chair, or sit on a floor, sit on a bench, sit in your car, whatever you gotta do. Take 30 seconds and think about that. About how it's possible. 30 seconds out of your day how it's possible to take care of both of those and how you can do it better and go about doing that better for yourself. Don't just do it for me, do it for you. But do it for me too. Because some of us do suffer with this first. Because a lot of you that I know have a good heart and it should never be broken. This coming from a person with broken heart. Take care of those, okay? Take care of yourselves. God bless you all. I love you. Thank you for always being here and watching and being with me. Hopefully I see you face to face, you know, soon. You know where to find me. I only walk in a straight line, so... Just take care, okay? I love you. And I promise, for some of those that may be watching, I promise I'll start taking care of these better on myself, too. Oh, I feel like a bag of smashed assholes. I'll be honest. I don't handle guilt well. It doesn't rest well with me. God bless you all. Blessings. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it'll be soon. Sorry, I'm just... I'm tired of apologizing. You all know why. Thank you for understanding. Everybody's favorite good guy. I think I finally got the S back. Oh, you wouldn't know about that. It's okay. I'll leave that for me to decide. It's shiny. It's a symbol. It stands for hope. That's all part of it. That's all part of it. Truth, justice, and the American way. Truth and justice. That's part of it, too. I'll see you all soon. It's good to see you now. Send me a message. I'm not far. I'm working all the way through up until... Thank you, by the way. I saw that. You didn't have to do that. Once again, mercy. Thank you. I love you. God bless you. Blessing. Um, sir.
Thank you. That means a lot, actually. Um, working all the way up till the weekend because it's my birthday next Monday. Not this Monday, next Monday. We'll figure something out. Next Monday, we're going to celebrate. It's going to be nice. Let's gather together and just have a good time for all of us, not just for me. It's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> See you on the next one. Maybe soon. You're right, Mama Boss. Maybe soon we should go live. 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 That sign's still there. Every man's good guy, Superman. Live, live, live. I'm still looking into fixing that there, Kev. Don't worry about it. See you in the next one, okay? I'm gonna go chill out now. Do some thinking. I love you. Thank you. <laughs>